straight games down there on the graphics, but there was, in fact, three games in that semi-final. So the Malaysian Mohamed Roslin Hashim, the far side of the court, as we look down, playing against the left-handed Bao Chun Lai. Good opening rally. start by the Malaysian now these two players have met each other three times previously and they're Misbun Sadek coach to Hashim well the Malaysian has yet to register a victory over his opponent of today but let me tell you that the last time they met was at the Malaysian Open in 2004 so I'm not sure we can gauge much about the form book when we look back that far a couple of years ago. Let me quickly also just tell you about Bao Chun Lai's path through to today's final tough opening game against a qualifier from Japan, Saki. Dropped the opening game there. Then a third round victory over the number 13 seed Dicky Palyama of the Netherlands. Just missed. And in the semi-final played the number five seed, Lee Hun Il of Korea. And remember, it was Lee who had put out the reigning world and Olympic champion in the third round, Taufik Hidiat. So to score a straight games victory over Lee Hun Il, pretty impressive. to winning the World Junior Championships, Bao Chun Lai then took the bronze medal at the World Championships in Birmingham in 2003. And so many people expected so much of him. Seven times he's been runners-up in major finals, six of them Grand Prix, and he's failed to convert. As I was saying, only that one title to his name. That's the Danish Open in 2001 one would expect him really to have a whole string of titles under his belt by now such is his talent Credit to the Malaysian Mohamed Roslin Hashim has started in impeccable style. Oh, yes, clever smash. Yes, they're absolutely delighted, Malaysian fans. Such a popular sport in Malaysia. luck at times they're sitting the top of the tape hitting Hashim's racket
I didn't miss by much, but it's clearly out. And this has been a phenomenal start by the Malaysian. Really in terrific form. Unseeded coming into this tournament. In fact, his younger brother, Mohamed Hafiz Hashim, was the number six seed. He was the one of the two brothers who was expected to do great things here. Hafiz losing to Pumpat of Thailand in the second round. Lisbon Sadek. Great badminton family over the years. Razif and Jelani, all England champions in the men's doubles. Clear as long. Bao Chun Lai in the final of the China Open at the end of last year and I talked about the fact that he might be getting a psychological block about it being able to win these finals being beaten in so many and I'm sure it does start to play on a player's mind when am I finally gonna break through start winning some of these titles oh that's clever it's type of smash that's used so often in the doubles events smashing straight at your opponent Not used enough, in my opinion, in singles. But a similar tactic there from Hashim. Oh, indecision, and I don't think the Malaysian needed to play that. I think his initial instinctive thought was to let it go wide. Yeah, I oh, chose to play at the last moment. Not sure it was a wise decision. Uh, imposing his presence more, Baltram Light. Malaysian has got to keep the focus about the fact that his opponent is a left-hander. the right decision in the end and I left it awfully late deciding was gonna oh yeah no it was out uh, this was always in trouble when he turned to play the high backhand that was the one Now just three points, the deficit, 11-14, 
opening game. And the tall Chinese player really does seem to have settled now. That's brilliant. Patiently outmaneuvering his opponent, playing to all four corners of the court before going for the winning smash. Classic men's singles. Court just needing some attention, the perspiration. Dropping down off the players onto the court surface, and it can be a little bit slippery. The last thing we need is any more injuries. World Championships in Madrid next month. Now oh, we're back level. Five points in a row for the left-hander from 9.14 down. Oh, and that's landed in as well. tactic earlier on, smashing directly at his opponent. Yeah, good attacking play. and I think that's what the Malaysian has to do if he's going to beat Bao Chun Lai. Has to pressurise, has to take the game to him because as soon as Bao Chun Lai is in control and he's the one hitting down, he's so deceptive overhead. I think the Malaysian will struggle. There, yeah, just as that. He lift to the left-hander. He has so many options, so much deception. Able to put the shuttle on the floor. Leaping forward to take the shuttle off the top of the tape. It wasn't a bad net shot from the Malaysian. turning into a terrific opening game. Landed on the back line. Pushed it long this time, though. So. Oh, dear, dear me. Cannot afford. 
afford errors like that at this stage of a match. Oh, once again, I said earlier on, gotta remember that Bao Chun Lai is a left-hander because the Chinese player is just superb from that forehand side. Two game points. It's wide. And that's it. The opening game to the number three seed from China. Bao Chun Lai had to come from 11-4 adrift in this opening game before securing it 21-18. But he's got his work cut out now. Because the opening game is to the number three seed, Bao Chun Lai, the left-hander. 21-18 the margin. Hashim really is such a good fighter on court, retrieves virtually every shuttle, never gives up in a match. interesting until that last lift from Hashim. Both players lifting the shuttle if they were lifting to the center of the court narrows the angle of reply and as soon as he had opened up the angles by lifting out to the side then he was in all sorts of trouble. Luck of the net cord. of delight that's coming from Bao Chun Lai, an indication of just what this means to him, really trying to get so fired up. But with that aggression, it still has to be controlled. And that was the previous rally. why so often smashes are directed down the side of the court. Look how far Hashim was pulled out of position. And for a simple little push to the other side of the court, he was nowhere near it. I'm not convinced it's the best tactic for Hashim to get involved in these flat, fast exchanges. Would have 
thought from the Malaysian's point of view, he would want to try and extend the rallies, really work his opponent. Yeah, just as he did there. Started with him retrieving a shot. That was the one. So many players would have been beaten by that. the left-hander that's really dictating the pace at the moment commanding the rallies and all that Hashim can do is react to whatever Bauchan Lai is throwing at him that will certainly help the Malaysians cause was Bao Chun Lai thinking about? Wasn't even close. I talked earlier about the fact that there is a drift in Cheng Chung Stadium here in Seoul. Natural air currents moving the shuttle. Well, the players have had to deal with this all week. Oh, another misjudgment. Was in a position to play it. And it landed on the line. Frustration from Boucher and Lai. Scores level once more. Wonderful capabilities of the Malaysian when defending out wide, choosing to sh smash the shuttle straight at him. the psychological advantage 
at the interval. It's Boucher and Light. Points advantage. 11 10. And therefore the psychological advantage at the mid game interval. And I noticed that the Chinese coach was very quick onto court. To tell Bao Chun Lai what he should be doing. Far more relaxed style of coaching from Nisbun Sadek. So the narrowest of possible margins, just one point. Oh, wonderful angle. And there's that deception overhead. Cannot tell whether he's going to smash straight down the line, or as he did on that occasion, cross court. doing well. is so determined to try and make Bouch and Light play a backhand. By just pushing it fraction wide, no margin for error. And that's why he doesn't want to push it down the forehand side. You do that. And Bouch and Light just so good from that area of the court. So many options. About and lie being told by the umpire to change the shuttle. Well, the luck of the net cord. Absolutely nothing that you can do about that. Oh, brilliant. Standing his ground at the net so well. Hashim stretching forward to play the little push. Oh. <laughs> and as if to say, how dare you do that on the previous rally? I'm the king of the net play. These are the psychological games that go on between the two players. prepared to lift the shuttle to the back of the court. Wanting to keep rallies flat or play back to the net. Oh, 
Yeah, every time the shuttle is lifted, especially to the bow tune lie, forehand side, and he wins the rally. Brilliant. Yeah, forehand side is lethal. Played. Hashim digging deep now, physically and mentally. Got to stick in there, keep fighting. We know he'll do that. fans desperately trying to encourage their man oh did hear me well the attempted clear was woefully short just really playing it onto the racket of Boucher and Light wide and so now four match points to Bao Chun Lai of China Finally, after four years, ten months, he wins his second Grand Prix title. The first, the Danish Open, way back in 2001. And now here, he takes a six-star event title, the Korean Open, in terrific style, 21-18, 21-16. Is champion at the Korean Open. <laughs>